Episode 11 of One Punch Man. It was definitely hype, but it was mainly hype because not only do we get Boros, you know, going against Saitama set up for the finale, but we also saw a lot of our uh, S-Class heroes in action. And of course, they did an impressive job going against that guard of the ship. Now, of course, these names are definitely a bit weird and they are, you know, very hard to pronounce. But of course, if I describe them, you know, you all knew who I'm definitely talking about but the episode itself it starts off where we have bros you know first he would like sitting on the throne but we now have him you know getting up and moving on the ship and of course we still have Saitama on there you know still wrecking stuff and apparently you know most of the damage he was doing you know apparently that right there was like toward the crew living quarters so really he did like no real damage but apparently this ship has a power core and if Saitama actually to destroy that then then uh, that right there will be a huge problem but apparently uh boros he had no idea that like one of his elite fighters were already defeated and we all know that right there was the plant guy who saitama you know cut the head off and so as so the other two elites there was this octopus looking person who apparently you know runs the ship and of course we have like that uh that golem guy who can like trim from a body and of course he was like down there on earth you know fighting the uh the uh, class heroes and so also it was nice to see hammerhead you know he was like he was he was applying for like some job and then we have the house of uh, evolution who is now living, you know, a normal life with that uh, robot gorilla. And we still now running some kind of business where they sell, you know, food. And right now, the uh, name of that food, it definitely escapes me. But it was kind of nice to see, like, these, I guess you could say, you know, like, fodder characters who were once kind of important but have now taken a very, very, you know, minor role. And also, we have Sonic, who was, like, polishing a sword. And we see him rocking some new gear. And of course, we saw that could be smile on his face when the uh, new report was like going on about what was happening. And so right now we see that the uh, elite fighter who was like fighting the Eclat heroes at first, you know, uh, he was not really struggling, but these heroes were like very, very annoying. And we see now that uh, pre pre prisoner, his new dark angel mode, I guess you can say, it actually did some serious damage, you know, to the uh, to the golem because we see now that like his body was like full of holes, and that right there only came from prisoner's fist. And so we see now that obviously he healed and we have, um, uh, I, Iron, something like that, but we all know he is a, he is a atomic samurai follower. We see now that like he had actually wanted to like retreat because obviously all the physical hits were like doing nothing. And we even see now that when this guy healed up, he actually tried to attack prisoner. But then we have Bane coming in there or Super Fang by his nickname. We see him coming in there, and not only did he like uh, you know uh, deflect that golem's fist, but he also were like able to attack it as well and that right there was awesome for the longest time i wanted to see bang in action and i am so glad that it happened you know before this series had ended and so right now we have we have bang we have a uh, atomic samurai and of course we have a uh, pre pre prisoner as well and so now we see that the uh, that the golem he actually wants to get rid of these guys because we have the other elite the uh, the octopus you know alien he was like trying to get this guy you know to come back to the ship so that way they can take on Saitama because you know uh, because Boros had wanted you know his elite fighters to get rid of him but with one already dead only these two you know could take care of it. And so right now we have the golem who was like telling the octopus guy to like prepare of a, 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 a barman so that way he could get rid of all these heroes in like one swoop and return to the ship. And so we see now that when this guy was like sitting, you know, one of his heads back, we also had metal back coming in there as well. And that right there was another S class, you know, now joining the fight, but, but, but the, uh, but, uh, metal back. He was like busy, you know, focusing on this head because, of course, if he like lets it go, it would just fly back to the ship. But even now, you know, the head, you know, uh, this this head thought that it could take on Metal Bat and like take it, take his limbs and make it like the uh, mascot of their ship. And that right there, you know, is obviously, you know, like like a very huge, you know, stretch. 
But now we have Saitama, who is still roaming the ship, and eventually we have the octopus guy, you know, using one of the powers to speak directly into, like, Saitama's mind. And so we see now that, uh, Saitama, he, like, pulled a troll here because, you know, the alien was, like, trying to get him to leave. And at first, uh, you know, Saitama was, like, agreeing to that, but when we have, you know, the alien, you know, telling him to go one way... You know, Saitama, you know, tricks him and goes the other way, and that right there, you know, leads him, you know, to the room where, uh, where, where he is, and of course, where his other, you know, uh, henchman is. And so right now that when Saitama finally gets there, we learn now that this guy has, you know, uh, what was it called? Like, like psychic powers where he could eventually move stuff with his mind. And so we see now that like his power was like so great at one point, he can also control gravity as well. And that right there, it was definitely, it was definitely awesome to see that. But of course, all of this was like not really affecting Saitama at all. And so eventually this guy, you know, used his powers to make like this one huge debris tornado and send it to Saitama. But of course it did no damage. And he was like, what a waste of power you like get, get your thrown around pebbles anyone can do that and we see now that when uh Saitama threw one you know that right there actually split this aliens you know alien guy head in half and that right there was like freaking awesome and so now eventually we have Saitama who goes to the uh who, who goes to the other henchmen who are of course fodder but we see now he was asking them you know where their boss is and now going back to Metal Bat mainly, we see now that when he was like fighting the head, obviously every time he destroyed it, it will always, you know, just reform. But at one point he saw like some kind of marble that like that, that uh that all these pieces were, were like, you know, gathering around. And so we see now that when Saitama actually goes for I mean not, not, I mean when Metal Bat, I'm sorry, when Metal Bat actually goes for it, we see now that even though the head had reformed, he had no idea that like he had lost his marble, and so he was like, give that back, but but instead, Metal Bat here, you know, just like crushed it with his bat, and we see now that the head had turned to like goop, and so, and so now we see what this golden weakness is, as all of those marbles, you know, like really hold it together, oh, and also we have, uh, but, and, and also we learned that, you know, some civilians, they actually did get hurt, but we did not get confirmed that, like, any had died. But we see now that w that when one injured man was, like, walking around, we have the uh, movement rider, you know, he actually appeared again and saved that guy by, like, taking him to, you know, where, where I'm guessing where, where everybody else was. And so now because of that, you know, like luckily because of that, you know, we see now that the C-Class heroes will also get a chance to shine. And so, so now we have uh, Stinger and uh, Lightning Max. They will also help. Move, they will also help Moomin Rider go out there and look for any other possible survivors. And so that right there was nice to see that you know for the first time you know some people in the series got hurt because because I don't believe that anyone you know really got hurt when Saitama you know destroyed that meteor. But once again, I don't think I don't think anybody died though. But now going back to the uh, S-Class heroes, we see now that they actually managed to destroy, you know, a few more heads on the golem to eventually, like, there were, like, two left. But then we have the one alien who was, like, making the uh, bombardment, you know, like, right now he had shot it at them. And, of course, the golem here thought that he won. But luckily, we have a tornado who actually made an appearance. And this time, she used her powers to, like, stop all of those bullets or shells, I guess you can say. And we see her now turning them, you know, like, back onto the ship. And and even though the tornado might come off, you know, as a stuck up bitch, it was definitely nice to see her, you know, how about the others? Because the seam at first, you know, she was she was against working together with them, but it was definitely nice to see her, you know, actually come in there and kind of like save the day. And also, I and also uh, we see now that at one point when Bang here had actually took out, you know, another one of the heads. We see now that the uh, Golem here had took that as a chance to actually attack him, and we see now that apparently, you know, uh, Bang is defeated. But but but, but to be honest, I don't feel like he's he's out for the count. Like maybe we can see if you know finish it off with like some kind of super like, with with, uh, with some kind of super attack. Hopefully, because I do not want to think that like Bang got one shot because this guy is like it's like the uh. 
third strongest. There is no way in the world he could be done already. But now we see that uh, uh, Saitama, he actually made it to where, you know, Boris was. And we see that when he actually punched in that door, so that way he could, like, get inside. We have Boros looking at him, and all you see is, like, this red energy coming off of Saitama. And when I saw that, I thought for sure, you know, that right there would be the picture that I would use for the video. Like, maybe I'll change it, or, or maybe I'll keep it, but that right there looks so freaking epic seeing Saitama like that but apparently now we have uh, Saitama questioning Boros like why in the world is he doing this and we see that when uh, when Boros was like approaching him after they had you know exchanged names we learned that you know about 20 years ago you know Boros here he actually became too strong and of course you know when you're that powerful you become bored rather easily but after going to see a seer you know, he learned of the prophecy where someone on earth would like be his challenge and would give him back his passion for like fighting. And we all know that that person is Saitama. So even back then, this guy was like destined to be an amazing hero or the strongest hero. And we see now that like after learning that Saitama did not care. And we see now that like one punch he sent Boros flying, you know, calling him stupid because you cannot go around, you know, just attacking planets like that. That. But then we see that when Boris here had like, you know, uh, got up from that hit, we see now that part of his armor was like destroyed and eventually now all of it came off and we learn now that their armor kept his like power in check. And now with it not on him anymore, you know, he could finally fight at full strength. But even when he went through like that uh, transformation, Saitama did not care, you know, one bit. All he said was okay and let Boros power up. And I will say that the animation for that was like really dynamic. I was definitely liking that. And of course, you know, like right after he powered up, that right there is where the episode ended. So obviously, you know, like the other series, which definitely sucks. I cannot believe that like One Punch Man is already over, man. This different here like like freaking blows. But but I will say, you know what? Let me say that for next week because I, because I'm 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 uh, still thinking about it. But this episode, it, it was like perfect setup for Boros against Saitama. And of course, seeing all these S rank heroes fighting together as well, that right there was amazing. But of course, let me know what y'all thought about this fantastic episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it blows me out. But as always, you guys take it easy. I will see you all next week in the finale.